Good afternoon, everyone. Drayton with World's Greatest Kiting. Today I'm going to take you on a short walking tour. After last week, I told you about a building over here in downtown, and I asked if you guys would be interested in maybe walking around town with me every now and again, learning some history about some of these buildings in beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida, also known as the Sunshine City. So what I'd like to do is uh, tell you about a building really close to uh, where I live, which is a very historical building. Actually, I live in the oldest building in St. Petersburg, the Detroit Hotel. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a building just down the block called the Snell Arcade, built by Mr. Snell a very long time ago. He was a real estate agent. He was an entrepreneur, he's an eclectic personality, and we're going to see the building that he built that's very, very famous right here in beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida, your Sunshine City. Right next to the Municipal Services Center is the Snell Arcade. So the Snell Arcade that was built by C. Perry Snell in 1926 is right here. There is a hallway that goes from right behind where that white car is. You see those double doors there? That's an aisleway that goes from what we're standing on Central. We're on Central and 4th right now, 4th Street and Central Avenue. And that used to be a walkway between the two streets and there were some businesses in there. Uh, apparently in this building, there was the hottest nightclub in St. Pete. It was called Spanish Bob's. Any of you guys remember anything about Spanish Bob's or have pictures of that? Send them my way, it'd be cool to see what that was like. But there's a really cool story about this that you can't find online, but some insiders have let me know right up there at the top, right at that penthouse. See, this is where his his penthouse is, his offices were in here. And then right up there, there's two small rooms, uh, living quarters, but they're about 200 uh, square feet for each of the rooms up there. But anyway, this penthouse was prepared for Mr. Snell's mistress, who people of St. Petersburg knew who she was, her relationship to Mr. C. Perry Snell, and did not like it so much. So she had a hard time, let's say, fitting in socially with her peers around St. Petersburg. So he prepared that penthouse so she could look down at all the people that didn't like the idea that she was the mistress of probably the most wealthy person in town the definitely the most successful real estate agent in town but this was his building right here if you would like to own one of the seven condos that are available in this building you can one of them is for sale right now and just for the the price of I believe it's four million dollars is the highest priced from three hundred and sixty thousand dollars for the smallest one to, to four million dollars which would be incredible to see but if you'd like to uh, to check it out I'm sure you can these cool tiles in the sidewalk that light up at nighttime. It looks, looks pretty cool when you're walking by. It's almost like ceramic. It's cool. At one time, this building had Venus statues all the way up on every floor. 
and during the depression when C. Perry Snell went bankrupt he had to sell the building and he himself took off the, the Venus statues that were all around the building. courtyard right above there. You can see pictures online. How'd you guys like the walking tour of the Snell Arcade? Next week I'll take you on another walking tour of another building somewhere nearby. But here I wanted to show you one thing before uh, before we part ways for the evening, check out this kite. I'm looking here in this magazine. That is a kite. That's a quad line kite. There's four lines on that, and they make it very controllable. I'd love to see that fly, but do you want to know where I'm seeing this picture? I'll show you. This is the AKA magazine, it's the kiting. The Journal of the American Kite Flyers Association. You too can receive this magazine through the year with full of pictures, different types of kites. Look at these kites. This is some serious art that goes into this guy's kites. There's, there's really interesting articles in here about uh, festivals, people making kites, events going on around the country, around the world. Uh, it's very cool. It's, it's a cool thing to be a part of. If you want to join the American Kite Flyers Association, it's about 20 some dollars for the whole entire year. You get this magazine, you get some other stuff in the mail. Uh, it's a good thing to be a part of. It keeps you connected. So check it out. Uh, if you want to see more from this magazine, let me know. I'll, I'll put some posts up uh, through the next few weeks until we get the new episode coming in the mail. But I got some old magazines that I know some of you said that you wanted to see some of the old articles in. So uh, we'll start with this. I'll show you a couple things from the current episode of Kiting, and then we'll move on. So thanks for watching. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow, and happy flying.